Let me add a, another thing or two about the extreme importance of the melting of the polar ice caps. Remember again that ice is white. Ice in the polar ice caps, the North Pole, the Arctic region, and the South Pole, the Antarctic region, those large ice masses reflect 80% or more of the sunlight coming into the planet. That significantly cools those regions. It keeps the polar regions cold. So as we lose the polar ice caps, we lose that reflectivity. And the darker material under the ice, which is in the northern regions, in the Arctic region is mostly seawater, dark seawater, and in the southern regions underneath Antarctic ice is land mass. Those are dark, which absorb as much as 80% of the sunlight or more. That heats the region, which melts more ice, which exposes, exposes more dark material, which heats the region, which melts more ice. That's the positive feedback process. Positive feedback, remember, positive feedback processes, remember, are those that speed up a trend. One of the most astounding and disturbing trends that we've noticed in the last few decades is that the melting, the rate of melting of the polar ice caps are happening far faster than anyone expected even a decade ago. I'll say again that I read almost daily scientists who are talking about their newest study in glaciology or the ice caps and saying we had no idea that the rate of melting was going to occur this fast. We know from a recent study published just in the last month or so that we've lost 30 percent of the Arctic ice mass over about the last three decades. 30 percent, that's a huge amount of ice. The lead scientists involved in these studies have said that even a few years ago they would have estimated that the Arctic may have been ice free by say the year 2100 or at the earliest 2070. Now they're saying that even at current rates of melting we will see an Arctic an ice-free Arctic by 2030. And that's even with a linear extrapolation. That's even at a, if the rate of melting stays the same as it is now, we'll see an Arctic ice-free by 2030. But remember, those rates of melting are increasing. It's accelerating.